in the future, batteries are gonna be everywhere. By 2030, there will be over 6 million EV batteries retiring from electric vehicles. If we don't do anything, it'll cost society tens of billions of dollars. What we're hearing is a lot of times they're sitting in warehouses, they're just wasting away. My parents run their own electrical supply store, and we basically grew up there. My dad would wake up every morning at 5.30, go to work. I'm actually the person in my household setting up the electronics. They sell things like lights, cables, wiring, circuit breakers, all kinds of stuff. Uh, once I got a little older, I was able to help them cut wire, look for inventory, even do some data entry for them. Every time I think he's reaching a limit, um, he actually seems to excel. I decided to forego a PhD because I felt that the EV battery space was just ripe for disruption. Batteries play a huge role in our lives and right now there's really no convenient way to figure out what the health of a battery is. Would you buy a used battery if no one could tell you how long it would last? We provide battery diagnostics for an electric vehicles. We can test at a much faster pace than current technology. Right now you actually need to charge the battery all the way up and then slowly drain it to see how long it would last. That process for electric vehicle batteries takes between six to 10 hours. Our test takes between 30 seconds to five minutes. So how it works is you plug our device into a battery. You can do a quick measurement and our product spits out a health grade. Our advanced technology is able to gather data that no other system can today so that we can actually set a new standard in battery diagnostics. Rejoul helps fight climate change by helping to streamline the battery's value chain and optimize it over its life cycle. The thing to remember is each battery degrades at a different rate. There's still a lot of energy left in that battery. That means a new battery doesn't need to get made. And we're definitely trying to do our part. You know, as a kid, all you want to do is play Game Boy or play sports, but both my parents wanted to instill some sense of work ethic in me and my sister. They both were always encouraging us to be our own bosses one day. My name is Zora Chung. I'm Stephen Chung, co-founder, CEO, and CFO at Rejewel.